All right, thanks everybody for joining us today. We've got uh, Junior Center and Hudson, Florida native Nathan Smith here, of course, going to play for uh, Team USA in the Olympics in Beijing. Excited about this opportunity for uh, Nathan. Obviously, a couple things. We were recording this, so uh, I'll uh, email you guys the link uh, once uh, uh, we get it up and running. And um, our, as you know, I've sent out the uh, notes earlier today, mm -hmm. but if you need any more information on Nathan, um, msumavericks.com is our website. And... Uh, Min State M Hockey for Twitter. Uh, Min State Athletics is uh, the main Twitter account for uh, Minnesota State. So uh, we'll start off here, if it's okay, um, uh, with Nathan making a comment. And as once he gets done with his initial comment, then it, we'll use the raise your hand feature uh, on Zoom in order to be able to ask questions. So Nathan, uh, first chance is talking with uh, some folks here following the announcement with the uh, uh, Team USA uh 2022 Olympic team excited for you and your thoughts on uh, in general on being named to the uh, US Olympic team yeah I'm extremely honored uh, you know not many people get a chance to uh, be called or call themselves Olympian um, and I'm just I'm just extremely excited to get this uh, get the thing going and uh, I can't wait to get to Beijing great thanks for that uh, Evan Axelbank if you have a question go ahead Hey, Nathan, uh, how are you? Congratulations. Um, I'm from Fox 13, Tampa Bay, back in, back at home. Uh, obviously, Florida is not a typical uh, hockey place uh, to grow up. Uh, you're, you're at a typical place now. Um, just wanted to ask what your growth as a player and, and what your success says about the growth of hockey in Florida and how much you've seen things change just over the last you know, 10 years since you, know, you started playing. Yeah, it's definitely growing in Florida, and uh, you know, when I was playing, there wasn't there wasn't a whole lot of ice, at least that I knew of. Um, but it just seemed like every year it was growing more and more, and the, the Lightning do a really good job of uh, you know expanding the game and doing a lot for the younger kids who are trying to get involved with hockey. And uh, yeah, I mean, it, myself, I've come a long way, um, pretty much in every aspect. Um, there's been a lot of hard work, but uh, I got to give credit to a lot of a lot of different people back home and and even here too. Uh, my family, uh, my longtime coach Ralph Souter, uh, my coach here Hastings, and uh, yeah, a lot of my teammates along the way. Mitchell Clinton, is there, okay. go ahead, Evan. Sorry, is there a particular person or a particular moment that stands out for you in terms of growing up in the Florida? hockey scene where you said, you know, there may be enough here for me to stick it out here and be able to get a big opportunity to play at Minnesota State and then be drafted uh, in the NHL? Well, honestly, I, I stayed back uh, instead of, uh, I think it was my senior year of high school, I was like 18. I stayed back to finish school and uh, I actually needed to get my grades up a little bit. So uh, I can thank, I can thank Ralph Souter, actually Lucas Souter's dad here. Um, I, Pretty much my best friend since I was six years old, and uh, you know he's helped me out along uh, along the way quite a bit. Mitchell Clinton, and uh, followed by Kyle Berger, please. Thank you very much, and uh, congrats, uh, Nathan. Obviously, that's the first thing to get away. I'm just curious uh, how you found out who you got the phone call from, and when they're kind of talking to you and telling you that you're an Olympian, do you almost have to kind of check yourself a little bit and try to like actually listen to what they're saying instead of just getting uh, extremely excited as I imagine you were? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I kind of take a step back and, you know, take a deep breath real quick. Um, and even then I didn't know, I didn't really know what to say. Uh, I had seen some predictions when I was back home for break. Uh, I was in North Carolina, I think when I, I think I was there. Yeah. When I first saw like one of the prediction uh, rosters, and it wasn't until I got back to Mankato here uh, when coach had talked to me and he said, hey, you know, I'm going to be or I'm most likely going to be an assistant coach uh, for the Olympic team. And, you know, you're under heavy consideration for that. And so I was like, you know, OK, that's you know, that's cool, whatever, you know. Um, but I didn't I didn't really think I was like, you know, I'm considered. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of good players in this country and, you know, even playing pro uh, in other countries, too. So I was just. You know, I didn't want to get too high. I didn't want to get too excited about it then. But, uh, you know, I got a call a few days after that from uh, the GM. 
and he just invited me to play for the team. And like, like you said, you know, I had to take a step back and just kind of gather myself really quick. And after that, I just kind of called my parents, both my, my dad first. And, uh, he didn't know what to say either. He was kind of shocked, just super excited for me and really proud. Uh, and then my mom, I called her right after that and she, I could hear her crying over the phone. So they were both pretty excited for me. Kyle, go ahead. You're also the first uh, player from Tampa Bay to be drafted into the NHL. But uh, uh, back to those Tampa Bay roots, um, how did you get started in hockey? When was your first love for hockey? Was it rollerblading, roller skating, or what, what, what really got you into hockey? Um, back when I was, so I started roller when I was six, but what got me into it was uh, I was always outside playing sports after school every day. I mean, I would come home and just chuck my backpack somewhere inside the house and I'd be on my way outside playing any sport I could, but I had my, uh, back then my, my good friend down the street and he would play street hockey outside. And I was quite a few years younger than him, but, uh, I loved doing it. We always would just mess around and he would, he would kind of school me a little bit, but I still loved playing it. And one day I said, Hey dad, you know, I want to go to one of his games and he played roller hockey at the the rink in our town. And so I went there and I, you know, I was like, Hey, I want to try it. So I tried it. We went to play it again, I'm pretty sure. And he got me all my gear and, uh, and you know, never really looked back since then. Jeff Hamilton, do you have a question? Yeah, thanks a lot. Congratulations, Nathan, on, on the accomplishment. Thank uh, you. I just got two. I just want to build one off of uh, Mitch's question about how you found out, you know, what obviously NHL players were going to go to the Olympics uh, until they weren't. Um, did you even know that you were an option or did you even, you know, come to realize, um, you know, this was a possibility before that conversation? I know you said you saw some stuff online. I'm just a little bit more curious about that. And, and what's what's next for you now um, for the Olympics as far as, you know, when you're headed there, any kind of preparation or anything involving that stuff? Uh, no, I didn't really think about it. Um, I, I think everybody likes watching the NHL compete in uh, the Olympics. Um, you know, it's the best of the best and, uh, it's, it's, you know, it's the biggest stage, so it's extremely fun to watch and, you know, you always want to cheer for your country and stuff like that. Um, but once they, uh, backed out of that and weren't going to play in the Olympics and, um, I saw the prediction sheets or roster sheets and stuff like that. I, I just kind of thought in my head, I was like, you know, maybe I do have a chance, but I still thought it was a long shot. Like I said, there's a bunch of different, uh, great players throughout the country and playing pro overseas and stuff like that. So I really wasn't sure. I, I didn't want to get too high. I didn't want to get too low. I saw the rosters and I was just like kind of thinking about it. It was in the back of my head. So. Yeah, I didn't see enough. <clears throat> Hi, Nathan. Uh, congratulations. And you mentioned about how, you know, not having much ice in Florida and a lot of kids who grow up playing hockey in Florida eventually have to go North, right? So it's a play to play hockey and, and get that and to develop. You know, you played in the high school league and dominated in it. Obviously played with you hockey and Scorpions, but like, what was it that helped you develop throughout maybe, you know, it not being the, 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 the development, not being there, you know, a lot of other guys go, go North. What, what helped you develop in that way? Um, it's kind of hard to say. I mean, I would say my roots being in roller hockey, I just, I think that the game that I play, just having good vision and being creative on the ice and uh, just kind of being confident in the way I play um, mixed with, uh, I was always in the weight room. And I think that kind of separates a lot of kids from, from the others. And um, I mean, for kids back home in Tampa, uh, if, you know, if you have any, or if you want any invite advice, I mean, I would say that's it and getting in the weight room and just working hard every day. I mean, I work out four to five times a week. Um, and like I said, I think that was one of the biggest things that set me apart from other people. Evan Alcaselbank, I see you have a question. Oh, sorry. I forgot to put my hand down. It's okay. Mitchell Clinton, how about you? Yeah, just uh, one more from me. Uh, you mentioned that... Uh, that Mike Hastings kind of gave you the, the heads up that you were under consideration. Just curious, you know, with him being on the staff and obviously, you know, uh, being on the roster, um, I mean, going to an Olympics, I can imagine it'd be an overwhelming experience, but uh, what's it going to be like, if you think, to, to have him there? Just a, a familiar face, if you will, even though I know there's a bunch of NCAA, NCAA guys going, but just someone from your own staff, your own team uh, from back home to be there as well. 
Yeah, it's going to be really nice, uh, especially going to somewhere so far away, so, uh, like China. Um, you know, I've, I've obviously, I've never been there. Um, I'm not sure he has either. So uh, it'll be a new thing for both of us. And uh, he, he he's pretty good friends with Coach Quinn. And so uh, I think, you know, just having him there and then me being there, with our relationship, I'm hoping, uh, you know, we'll be able to kind of lean on each other a little bit here and there just to kind of uh, help each other with being comfortable. And um, I also know a couple of the players I've played with, uh, Mark McLaughlin and Cedar Rapids. Um, and I've played with Sam Henches and Nick Perbix uh, back in the World Junior A Challenge. So there's a couple familiar faces that I'm, uh, I'm going to be there with. I think one of the questions, Nathan, was uh, what's next for you relative to schedule-wise? We've got a, a big weekend this week against uh, University of St. Thomas, and then uh, yep. we host Arizona State. And then uh, timeline-wise, when do you expect it to be heading over, over to China? Do you know? Yeah, um, so we got St. Thomas this weekend and then ASU, and I think it's going to be either the day after that. I think it's the 30th or the 31st that we're supposed to head to L.A. Um, and we, we're going to be testing there. And then we should be either doing some video or practice there. Uh, I think it's going to depend on what's available for us. Okay, Jeff Hamilton and then Ed Encina. Yeah, thanks, uh, Ethan. I'd be remiss. I'm, I'm by, the, by the way, I'm from the Winnipeg Free Press, so I'd be remiss if I didn't ask. Uh, you know, obviously you've had a ton of success at, at this level, and particularly this season. How much contact have you had with the Jets and? Um, how much have you thought about your, you know, your future here and, and, you know, taking that leap to, to the next level pro? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely something that's always in the back of my head. Um, right now, I'm just kind of focused on what I'm doing here and what I have in a couple of weeks, which is the Olympics. And uh, kind of just trying to take it day by day. It's kind of a lot going on right now with school, the Olympics, upcoming games for uh, school and then, you know, the future as well. But uh, I just try to take it one day at a time and f focus on what I can control. Ed? Hey, this is one more. Um, you know, growing up in Tampa, I just wondering, did you, were you, did you grow up a Lightning fan? Did you go to, to games there? Was there a player that, you know, you was your favorite player? Or you kind of tried to model your, your game after as a kid? Uh, yeah, I, the, the Lightning were my favorite team growing up, and uh, I, would, I would go to quite a few games with my family. And uh, even with my teammates back in roller hockey, we would always go to games. And um, growing up, my favorite player, I don't know if I would say I, I – uh, idolized my game after him, but uh, I loved watching Marty St. Louis. Um, he was just so small, but so strong. And uh, he was he was a competitor and he never, never gave up on anything. And he didn't care how big other guys were. Um, he battled every day and he was, he was just an unreal player. Thank you. Circling back to Jeff Hamilton here. We have a time for a couple more questions if you have them. Yeah, appreciate it. Just one more, Nathan. On the, on the Jets one, I mean, I know you got a full plate here, uh, you know, with your own hockey and traveling and buses, rides and all that thing. How much do you watch the Jets? How much do you keep an eye on, on um, you know, you know, the team that's, that drafted you? Well, to be honest, I don't get to watch them much uh, just because they play the, the later game. And uh, I'm usually getting in bed or, you know, I'm doing school or making food for dinner. Um, so I don't get to watch them a ton, but uh, I do watch them when I get a chance, and uh, they're fun to watch. So uh, I'm really looking forward to my future with them. Somebody else has asked a question. I just said one more. People, when you came to Winnipeg, everyone I talked to, myself included, was really was really um, impressed with how you handle yourself. You know, the kind of person that you are, and I'm wondering how how important it is. You know, character, that kind of stuff. I know you're a leader on your club. Um, it is to, you know, it is to you to make sure that you, you know, you're, you're obviously a, a really good hockey player to be a good person as well. Yeah. I mean, before hockey, I just want to be a good person. I mean, regardless if I'm playing any sports, I think it's uh, one of the main things that I was taught growing up is just be a good person and, you, you know, good things will happen to you in return. And uh, that's just try, that's just what I try and focus on every day, just being a good person and being a good teammate. Um, if I have to go out of my way to do something for someone, I will. Um and, you know, that's just what I was taught by my parents growing up. Evan Axelbank with the last question, please. Uh, how, um, uh, I know obviously we expected the NHL to be in this, um, you know, right up until a few weeks ago um, when this, you know, when you realized they weren't going to be going, you know, and this opportunity was a potential, <laughs> you know, did you think you had a shot? Was this something you were hoping for? And obviously, you know, Beijing's a long way from Florida. Can you imagine, you know, growing up and, thinking you're going to be going to Beijing to play in the Olympics one day? 
I mean, like I said, I didn't really know if I had a shot or not. Uh, I knew that once the NHL was out, I knew that they were going to go to the college guys and uh, the overseas, uh, the overseas guys too. Um, but you know, like I said, I saw the prediction rosters. It was always in the back of my head once I saw that. And I was like, and you know, there's a chance, but, uh, it's still kind of a long shot for me just being from Florida and, you know, maybe, uh, just getting passed up on, you know, some, somebody else that they've chosen for, for the team. But, uh, you know, I'm really grateful that I'm getting this opportunity to go and I'm, I'm like super excited. All right. Thanks, Nathan. Appreciate it. Good luck this weekend against St. Thomas. Thanks for tuning in everybody. Thank you guys. Thanks. Thank you.